Today you're gonna learn how to play Stone the Crow by Down, and we're starting right now. What's up everyone, Steve here again from Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we help you master doom metal guitar tone, technique, and theory, all through the process of learning your favorite songs and riffs. So if that sounds like your type of thing, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. So super simple setup here today. I've got a Gibson SG Les Paul VOS. We are in C sharp standard tuning, that Sabbath tuning. I've got a set of 11 to 52 strings on this thing and just running directly into the front end of an orange or OR120 overdrive amplifier. So a lot going on in this one. I'm gonna cover Pepper's guitar parts. We're gonna cover Kirk's guitar parts. But of course, as always, if you wanna pick up the complete tablature in printable PDF or interactive guitar pro formats for this lesson, along with every other lesson on the channel, you can head on over to patreon.com slash does it doom. I've got a link directly below this video if you wanna go ahead and check that out, make learning things a lot easier. So until then, we're gonna start out with a quick demo, then we're gonna come back and break it down riff by riff. Check it. <laughs> As I mentioned in the introduction, we're in C sharp standard tuning. This one is played in the key of B minor. Now, if we were in standard tuning, this would be D minor, but because we are tuned down three semitones or one and a half steps, we are in B minor. For this first riff, I'm gonna set my guitar volume around seven just so we get a bit of a cleaner tone. This one's played by Pepper, super famous, super recognizable, and goes like this. <laughs> You can see two slightly different endings the first time through. Second time through. And so Pepper varies that ending throughout the song. Uh, you could check the tab to kind of get an idea for how I played it in the demo, but listen along to the song, you could hear uh, how he uses it. 
So once again at speed. <laughs> Pepper's playing that, Kirk comes in with this awesome little melody that's played throughout the song. So that little fill. If you're getting some value out of this lesson, remember to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now during the verses, he's just going. Next up, we'll cover the chorus here, and this is Pepper's version of the chorus is using this open D major chord shape, which is of course a B major because we are tuned down, uh, one and a half semitones, but we'll call it a D major shape since that's more common. So you can see this open hammer on at the third fret on the fourth and fifth strings. Pepper's doing that, Kirk is playing a cool power chord version. So one more time. So now a really great single note passage that shows up in some harmonies throughout the song. So I throw in this little ending that they use live all the time. Pet plays it like that and Kirk does. So. And then as one part of the demo, I had Kirk playing it at a lower register, kind of back to where the intro riff was played. Then finally we have this really heavy breakdown kind of late in the song using this little pentatonic pattern. Hmm. 
Remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new weekly videos. I want to send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon with a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord tier producers. For more content just like this, you can click the YouTube video directly below me. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.